Welcome back. Some might call it an invasion. At the very least, some pesky guests have made themselves comfortable in our local waterways over the last few weeks. Our Alexis Green spoke with the experts who explain why they're here in droves and where they're coming from. Lexis. Thanks, Mike and Leslie. A jellyfish invasion is right. They are here, there, they're everywhere, from the jetties to popular fishing spots and even in some backyard canals. Take a look. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some that are just about this big around. That's Robert Gonzalez, an angler I found fishing near the Packery Channel, who's painting a picture of just how large these moon jellies are that are making a name for themselves in our Corpus Christi bays. All I've been seeing is just a bunch of jellyfish, nothing else. I've uh, been out here since uh, 7.45. But where are these blobs coming from? Well, according to the Texas State Aquarium's lead biologist, Jesse Gilbert, it's the rain that has caused these recent sightings. So we've had some precipitation over the last couple of weeks. We've got some coming in this week as well. So these fronts kind of stir them up. Yes, I've gotten stung already on my leg, uh, on my knee. I've gotten stung a few times already there. Luckily, the sting doesn't pack too much of a punch. You can touch them. Typically, you won't feel it, but if you're really allergic to bee stings or, or any other sort of insect sting, it's probably something you don't want to touch. I think the rule of thumb is don't touch a marine animal unless uh, you really have to. Gilbert says with these weather conditions, we can expect a large bloom. There's probably some always in Corpus Christi Bay, but once these influxes of freshwater come, uh, they just tend to take off. It's kind of a cue for them to, to actually start to reproduce. Then in the next couple of months, they'll slowly drift back into the Gulf. So if you plan on wade fishing, wear pants. So far, they're only getting caught in my cast net, and it is a little annoying, but it's their home and I'm out here, so... He was a good sport. Now, fun fact, they actually have some of these moon jellies right here at the aquarium, and when they want them to reproduce, they add cold, fresh water into their tanks. That usually does the trick. Also, if you're wondering why you aren't seeing the purple flags waving at the beach, Parks and Rec said that that flag is determined by high incidents or stings that are being reported to the lifeguards.